Several local school districts are now on high alert in our region tonight following a series of social media threats. New tonight, CBS 13 Sharin Roger is live at Intercom High School in Natomas with how these threats are having a major impact even on the livelihood of professional clowns. Sharin. That's right, Sam and Adrian. In Intercom High School and the Thomas High School are among many in our area that have sent letters to parents explaining that they're taking this issue very seriously. They're working with police officers, with resource officers here on campus to show that they're doing everything they can to keep students safe. But yes, as you mentioned, not only affecting our communities here in our school districts, but people who live as clowns for a living. I don't want to be scared. And I want my business to be like it was. I want to go out my door and I want to make children smile. Kelly Martinez has been a professional clown for 30 years, well known to her Vacaville community. This is my clown world. This Kelly says since creepy clowns have posted threats on social media threatening to cause harm, she and other professional clowns are feeling the backlash. I have friends that have absolutely quit the business because they fear for their safety. And um, people's businesses are shutting down. Parents are canceling bookings over fear. We, we are taking the steps that we need to do to ensure that these sorts of things are not uh, credible and that there isn't risk to the public. While some local Halloween stores say they haven't noticed a major increase in people coming in asking for clown costumes, a national costume chain, Halloween Express, says that clown mask sales are up 300 times compared to this time last year. I don't know why a lot of people are buying clown masks because. If they see the videos on social media, people are really going to get hurt. Granite Bay High School sent out this letter to parents Wednesday after two students and a school employee played a hoax on a student by dressing up as clowns to scare him. Sacramento police say while there hasn't been any credible threats, they don't want anyone to get hurt. It's difficult to speculate about what sort of criminal charges somebody could incur. Um, but moreover, if, if a member of the public was concerned about their own safety because of your behavior, they would. Would be within their rights to defend themselves. As for Kelly and others in her profession who entertain and bring smiles for a living, they just want the threats to stop. I want people to realize that this is a profession. Now, with this latest incident at Granite Bay High School, the Roseville Joint Unified School District gave us this, state, this statement tonight. We are very surprised and disappointed that an adult staff member participated in these events. We are conducting an investigation into the behavior of the employee, and appropriate action will be taken. Now, as far as the students involved in this hoax, they haven't decided what kind of disciplinary consequences those students will face, but they're asking all kids if you have clown costumes, just don't bring them to school. Okay, Sharin, thanks. It's quite a trend we're seeing all across the country. Thank you very much. Live for us tonight in Natomas, police in El